Hello, my name is George Grant, Technical Services Manager with GGS Pro at Griffin. Today I'm going to be talking to you about microbial insecticides, also known as bioinsecticides, and how to make them most effective. Microbial insecticides contain active ingredients that are fungal, plant, or bacterial based or derived from their byproducts. They offer unique modes of action that are much less susceptible to resistance and are compatible with most pesticides. These are partially why these family of products are becoming more and more popular for ornamental growers. Oftentimes, we are combating a pest with a living biological organism or applying a compound that is toxic to the organism when ingested. When we're using living organisms such as bacteria or fungus, we need to ensure good coverage over the insect or mite pest. Over a few day period, the organism begins to infect the pest from the outside in. So as you can imagine, this is a slower process compared to most conventional chemistries. Using bioinsecticides typically requires using more frequent applications as we, our goal is to keep a high level of inoculum on the pest itself. Unfortunately, there's not too many new modes of action coming down the pipeline, leading to repeated use of our go-to conventional options. To help alleviate our reliance on this chemistry, microbial insecticides can offer unique non-resistant modes of action to help in this fight. These pesticides are typically very plant and bloom safe, can be applied in various ways, are an employee environmentally friendly, and offer a broad label for ornamentals, herbs, and, and edibles. These low REI and PHI options are ideal for growers who have their hands in a bit of everything, which is becoming more and more common in the industry. This is a photo provided to us by BASF. This is Velifer, a Bavaria bassiana product. Bavaria is a fungus that predates on a wide range of insects such as aphids, thrips, whiteflies, and even mites. The solution was applied via a foliar spray on this whitefly and over a few day period, the fungus sporulated inside the insect killing it and even sporulating outside of the insect to help populate its own self. As previously mentioned, our objective is to continuously keep a high level of inoculum on the target pest. Thus, repeated applications ranging from every three to 10 days may be needed with higher frequencies corresponding with higher press pressure. Many of these are not systemic products, so good coverage when spraying is needed. This makes fogging these pesticides an effective means of application. Although these are fairly compatible with most pesticides, do not assume. There's typically good compatibility databases on the chemical producer's website, but when in doubt, please reach out to GGS Pro for assistance. Since these are living organisms, they tend to have shorter shelf lives and specific storage requirements such as refrigeration. To maximize the efficacy of fungal-based pesticides, we want to apply them when there is an environment for them to sporulate quickly once applied. This typically corresponds with end of day or early morning applications when light intensity is lower, temperatures are cooler, and relative, relative humidity is higher. Also, we can tank mix most microbial insecticides with an acid or actin-based insect growth regulator, or IGR. Here are several effective options listed on the slide. This product helps prevent the pests from molting, thus keeping the spores and inoculum we put on them to not be shut off. Not to mention that IGRs can prevent an insect from turning into an adult and thus not being able to reproduce. It also does provide some feeding blocking activity on certain insects such as aphids. The two primary active ingredients when it comes to fungal-based microbial insecticides is Bavaria or Isaria. Here are various different options that are commonly found in the market. As you can see, they have a wide range of insects that they control. They do vary in their organic status, and they also vary in their REI. There's a variety of different bacterial-based pesticides out on the market. Bacillus, which is a bacterium, can be commonly found in both fungicides and insecticides. Grandiva and Venerate are two other effective bacterial-based insecticides, and as you can see, they do help manage uh, a wide range of insects. They're both OMRI and they both have an REI at four hours. Also, it's important if you do have any questions regarding product rates for any of the products listed here and others, don't hesitate to reach out to GGS Pro. If you heavily use microbial insecticides, we heavily recommend you use an Azeract and IGR. As we said earlier, this has a variety of different benefits um, and pairs well uh, when it comes to using microbial insecticides. Here's a common spray strategy we have found to be effective over the last couple of years for both edible and ornamental growers. This looks as day one using a microbial paired with an IGR, day three or four just the microbial, and then day seven or eight repeating the tank mix of the microbial and azadiractin. 
We can repeat this process as needed. We also heavily recommend using capsule, which is now OMRI listed. It's a surfactant and it helps the spread both the microbial and the IGR um, uniformly over the leaf surface. We've just begun scratching the surface as it comes to bioinsecticides and biofungicides. Please look out over the next several years from research from GGS Pro, growers, and academic resources as we understand more about how to use these biopesticides more effectively. Hope you have any, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to GGS Pro or your local sales rep if you're interested in adding these unique modes of action into your arsenal.